right, the last best of three that we will cast today. So it's either going to be Strelok or Walmo that is going to qualify for WCS Europe. I'm really excited. Strelok played flawless against Panda Tank. Yeah, he really looks strong against Panda Tank. So uh, ooh, it's going to be tough for Walmo, but uh, anything is possible. Walmo has been a pretty successful between brackets European player as well, certainly in like the online tournaments when he plays against other Europeans. He's doing well for uh, quite a while now, so uh, it's curious, man. Strelok, one of those uh, super old school guys. Uh, Strelok was actually part of the very, very first uh, Stark 2 tournament there ever was, the Intox 3 Masters Global Challenge in Cologne back then. Uh, <laughs> I remember that like the Muslim and me were making jokes that Strelok actually thought that Storm heals up his Marines because <laughs> he, he kept sending in it. But that's, of course, a super long time ago. Uh, uh, Strelok has been a... We've, we've had jokes at the expense of Strelok for years now. Yeah. Like I think you should tell the China story. Because there are a lot of people on stream, a lot of new faces to StarCraft 2. Okay, I'll, I'll definitely tell this China story, but first I have to remind you of the one thing we used to beat him up over the most, which is in TVZ, he would always oh yeah. <laughs> inevitably unsiege every siege tank right as the Lings would be attacking. It was like I, I, every game he ever lost was because he unseized his tanks. And it's so really funny because Strelok played in every single go for StarCraft 2 and he always run into either Nurture or Paranoid. Always or lost the same way. Back in the days, you used to play Go for StarCraft 2 as well. I saw yeah. the rise of Stefano. <laughs> but he was you know, I really yeah. disliked you for having to cast ZBZ every single <laughs> Sunday <laughs> alone. That was for, like the darkest period of my StarCraft 2 casting career. I'm really sorry. But I need to go through that to, get the be to be the best, it's right? It's true. No, I think like online cops is a great way. It, like, I just knew it. Like I walked to the office on like a Sunday morning, and I knew it was going to be another eight-hour solo <laughs> cast. And I knew I was going to have to cast this annoying freaking French Zerg player. <laughs> Stefano versus Nurture in the final. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it's a very Sunday. Nurture played a little bit later. I don't know. You played also this other French guy. I kind of forgot the name. Like an other French Zerg. You played him a few times. Il. Il. Like oh, il. yeah. Il. E e e e e yeah. yeah. You played him oh. a few times. God, and I hated casting you so much. Thank <laughs> 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 you, <were> honesty. <laughs> <laughs> like if there was just some variation in the matchups, I would have been fine. But having to see you cast a single... No, it was fun games, no? Well, there's always I think Nurture and I were doing good games. Yeah, but like, like by the time that Nurture started playing lots of Go for Soccer 2s, you kind of stopped playing them. Uh, you you yeah, played, yeah, you yeah. played yeah, more you had an unspoken agreement. All right, I'm going to start cashing the bigger checks. You can take all the weekly cups. <laughs> I, I, I think it was you either... You can take the scraps. <laughs> I think it was either Tefal or Paranoid that you literally played two or three times in a row yeah. in the final. Uh, it, it was Tefal. Yeah. Yeah, and it was always 3-0, and I felt so bad for Tefal because <laughs> he always played a really good goal for but then in the final he'd lose against you again. Oh, those old days, Elias. So the, uh, the old Strelok story is from uh, Intel Extreme Masters, Guangzhou, China, which was... Uh, it, w it was a rigorous tournament, to say the least. I remember we had like 10-hour casting days. You know <laughs> Jim was there? <laughs> Jim was there! <laughs> was it, is he really tall? Is he that guy? Yeah. <laughs> Freaking Jim. Jim's the best Protoss Who's player Jim? in the world. Who is Jim? He's a Protoss player from China, and he's amazing. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. You, you will hear of him soon. Okay. He's going to win WCS Korea, and then yeah. he's going to win the BlizzCon. He I all killed your teammates. Are you <laughs> joking or not? No, I'm, no, he's I'm completely very serious. Yeah? Jim's he's good, man. He's very good. <laughs> he's nobody knows who he is because he's Chinese. <laughs> but uh, as we see uh, Wellmu poking across the map here with this initial stalker and this Mothership yeah. Core, I don't think too much is going to come of it. No, but what's going to be very important is that Wellmu at least sees something, because Strelok once more opens up with Hellions. Might say, oh, actually, uh -oh. Uh, two Hellions, then uh -oh. two Widomites. There's not even a bunker here. Uh, these Hellions are not too scary, but if Strelok is doing the right thing, he can just drive by, and that kind of forces Velmu back. Because That's Velmu's actually really annoying, man. Yeah, because Velmu barely has any units at home, so he's going to... He only has one gate and no warp gate. So Strelok, uh, or Velmu has to wall his... Oh, he's got a sentry, so he's But fine. at least this was a good scout already <coughs> for Velmu, and that's going to be very important. He's actually just going to recall. Uh-oh. So he is a little bit worried about these Hellions. Single Hellion does get in, and uh, will at least get a scout off. Uh, yeah, this is a very derpy stalker. I mean, three pr probes already oh is a no! pretty good deal. Oh Wilma. my god. He's going to lose so many more probes. Well, one oh. alien is very low. Yeah, I think he's going to be fine. I think at least two more. Uh, we can uh, we can tell the Strelok story now, though, as we've got, uh, as we've got this, uh, this downtime here. So Strelok is the most by-the-books player that you're ever going to meet. Like, if ever he can regame a game that he lost because of the rules, or if ever he can... Uh, not in an unfair way, though. Like not in an unfair way, not in a, but he is by the letter of the law. Well, technically, we're only allowed to have three observers in this game, so <laughs> I'm going to have to ask the fourth observer to step out. <laughs> yeah, Starlink knows all the I mean, if, if, if I need to, I can consult an admin, but I think you guys will, you know, agree <laughs> to be men about this and 
work it out amongst yourselves. That's that's the Strelok play. If you run into me in the past, then you know that I'm right. <laughs> yes, okay, because he nobody knows the books better than Strelok. He's got them memorized. Hidden third base, by the way, this is something he did in his game against Panda Tank yep, as well. On um, so, in China, Strelok hosts a match against uh, was it Revival? Uh, Yes, it was a revival, but man, I think you're gonna have to hold that thought real quick because we're gonna see a pretty scary drop right now by Strelok. He's gonna drop Widow Mines as well. The Observer is almost out, but still, this is gonna take some mining time. Wow, Widow Mine got the reasonable shot off as well. Again, four probes. Oh, well, Marishi, of course, no! gonna die as well. Man, this is already a very successful drop. And we had uh, Hellions running by in the natural as well. Probes are kind of lining up. Wow, oh. well, moved. it's losing so many probes. God, Strelok is just. Uh, relentless today in killing probes. I he's really got a, a good feel 19, on this matchup 20. right now. Look, two Marines still just hammering away 21. at the main base. So Wellmu is. Oh god! Ah, oh, this is like curtains. Yeah, that's that's literally game ending. He's got three bases behind yeah. this. The good thing is at least like Wellmu is sort of gonna have time to stabilize because Stralok is following this up very very economically. But uh, hey, this is still not over. Oh my uh, god, Wellmu! Uh. Oh, he's gonna run them all back to the main where there's one more widow mine, but it did just blow up on a single probe. So Strelok's sad but about still, that. But still, if he forgot about, if he forgot about that widow mine. No, he knows. No, I, are you sure? Oh, okay, he's gonna bring. He has there. to know. Okay, observers there. God, he lost so many probes. Oh, so <laughs> many probes, so much mining time. Twenty-three probes killed. So Wellmu, a little bit behind, to say the least. Yep. So Strelok, being the being the by the books guy that he is, uh, is given the responsibility of hosting the map. Host Shakuros Plateau. Ooh. It was Shakuros Plateau. He has to host, host Shakuros against Revival. Now, this is in China, on the Chinese server, where we cannot read the name of the maps. We have no idea what games we're hosting. It was one of the most frustrating things ever. Uh, no, no! 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 <laughs> no. Oh, okay, that went. Still two pros, and it's still mining down. Like, it's gonna mine still kind of pays for itself. Ooh. That could have been at the Muslim. And the other moment. one is down in the natural. This story is just gonna have to wait for the break. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some stories are better left untold. Man. Oh man, but Sverak is doing this so well that this is the second time we see him just completely pick apart a produce player. Uh, this is not even a game from this point on. Sverak is just gonna uh, like build a lot of Hellions, Hellbats, and we're gonna make a couple of tanks, and then he's gonna move out with 150, 160 supply mech, and there is absolutely nothing that Velmo is gonna be able to do about it. So I think you can still tell the story. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so by the book, Strelok host Shakuros. Oh wait, hold that thought. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm busting you. <laughs> host Shakuros Plateau to play against Revival. And uh, Kevin and I are casting this game, and Strelok is just playing the game of his life. He is crushing Revival. Revival goes mutas, but Strelok shuts them down. And I can remember thinking, man, Marines are so good. Because he was, he was controlling his Marines well, and he was killing these mutas. Um, as uh, we are going to see another attack here. Yeah, so. I think Velmus is going to... Velmo knows that if this game goes on for a very long amount of time that he's going to be absolutely dead. So I think so I think he wants to try to make something happen. Once more, you have a Widow Mine blowing up on the Mothership Core. That was the only Widow Mine left. But uh, <laughs> Strelok is right now 20 workers ahead. I think Velmo is still going to try to bust this, but he should also know that's hopeless. Then again, macroing up from this point is pretty hopeless too. Yeah, he's kind of in a lose-lose situation. He's just taking so yeah. much damage. It's like those things you don't want to leave because the game is so important, but if this was the latter game, oh, you would have already won the next Oh, yeah, one. you, you <laughs> F10N. Yes, no GG. <laughs> Probably a couple of Vitos. Vito. Vito, Vito, Vito. Or TG. Do you have a TG people? TG? Never. Never. <laughs> Never. Never. <laughs> I don't speak to people in the game. I don't flame them. Todd does, right? <laughs> we are not Stefano here. congratulates people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Congrats. Exclamation mark. No sarcasm. <laughs> I always loved your rationale for that. Well, I'm very good, so if they beat me, they should be congratulated. <laughs> <laughs> it does make sense, doesn't it? It makes perfect sense. It's flawless Stefano logic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I kind of feel sorry for Wellmo because this is one of those games where, like, as I said, this is a really important game. He's been fighting so long already today. This is the final round of the qualifier. You don't just want to give up, but you also know that it's absolutely useless. Yeah, go on then. So go ahead. Yes. So Strelok story, take f take 15. Yes. So he has to host Shakur's Plateau to play against Revival. He hosts the map. Uh, it's this Chinese map. We can't tell the name of it, but it looks like Shakur's Plateau, so we play it. And uh, there's a couple of battle hands being unloaded here in the main base. Yeah, but they won't do much. Um, and Strelok plays the game of his life. He's shutting down the mutas. He's all over the map. He's just crushing everything. 
And uh, again, I, I remember having the thought, God, Marines are so good. But <laughs> I thought nothing more than that because <laughs> I was just used to getting crushed by Marines. Uh, and so after the game, there's like all this commotion and stuff. I'm like, what's going on? And uh, I walk out to the front stage, and everybody's standing behind Strelok's computer. They're watching the replay, and Strelok's like, see, I win this game anyway. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I should get the win. And I'm like, what's going on? And it was like, yeah, Strelok's Marines had 12 range and 16 damage. <laughs> 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 and, like, <laughs> extra move speed. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> the most rigged Marines of all time. He's playing on a rigged map. And but like, Strelok was really analyzing the replay. He's like, yeah, but my build order, I think... Uh, I, I, I would have won this game <laughs> anyway. You should give me the win. <laughs> Of course, they uh, they replayed the game and the whole series in Revival yeah. One Two and Zero. The next game looked a little different. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> revival suddenly looked like the revival we all know and love. <laughs> yeah, it does Marines. Sixteen damage Marines. And they were so fast too. They're like yeah. s stim speed without stim. <laughs> Poor Mutas. They're like they're like running faster than the Mutas and like yeah. catching up. <laughs> 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 Starlock is uh, right now. This is what I pr predicted early on. It's uh, like 150 supply mech army. There's just Almost nothing that Velma can do. Of course, when behind go Dark Shrine, but uh, Strelok showed no. us before as well when behind or when ahead get detection. Uh, he has a couple of missiles here and there. Actually, yeah, he has one in the main as well. Oh, he's actually going to return. Uh, he's going to actually turn around. That is, uh, this, this is what we call an overreaction. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think those Widomites will be more than enough. Unless he was very, very intimidated by these two immortals. Yeah, you just wanted to make sure those DTs <laughs> didn't turn into an Archon. This is also very safe. Tasteless would say he's playing Starcraft with condoms. <laughs> <laughs> planetary, and, the, and the, this is actually his fourth base. It's like you're, you're up 70 supply and you're getting a Planetary Fortress. Then you're very safe. <laughs> so uh, Strelok on the move once again. He's ahead 70 supply. Wellmu is going to try and muster some sort of a defense in the middle of the map. But uh, we all know how... That's going to go. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, he didn't even catch up in workers yet. He's on 55 right now against 62. Uh, throughout the entire game, he has lost 31 probes. And that really does tell the tale, uh, that does tell the tale of the last three games we casted of Sherlock. Man, like he makes it look so easy today. Well, uh, obviously, if you play against these guys, if you are a Terran player, you know it's far from easy. The Sherlock is really displaying some great play. Yeah, but it looks so easy because oh, it's just... This could be a big mind shot. Oh, but it's not going to go off. Like, all he has did three games straight now is kill a bunch of workers early on and win the game. But if it was so easy, everyone would be doing it. So Strelok really doing something yeah, right. Strelok hates Nexuses. I love how by accident, while killing the Nexus, he's also killing the probe. <laughs> <laughs> More Widow Mice, uh, obviously an absolutely unstoppable push right now for Wellmo. I think uh, it's time for Wellmo to start getting off a of game number two, perhaps get his mind read. Get a map in which uh, perhaps a little bit easier to defend against lots of... Uh, yeah, I'm mites. not really sure what uh, the right choice would be, though. I do think Daybreak's one of the harder maps to drop, to be completely honest with you. Uh, then so. again, it's also not the biggest map in the pool, because uh, maybe if you take like a map like Warwind, it's going to be a little bit harder to pull uh, the same amount of harassment off, because it takes a lot longer for Widow Mines and Hellbats to travel across the map, or Metavex in that case. Warwind is hanging on to the bitter end. Well, it's very as long bitter. as I have one Dark Templar, I have a chance. But it's very bitter, man. GG. GG is called. Uh, Strelok wins the game number one very, very convincingly. Uh, so he's on match point, almost making it to the WCS, but he's not there yet.